Hi, my name is Amy Mozzie and I'm with Centurion Boats and today I'm here to walk you through the 2021 FI 25. This boat is not only 25 feet long with room for 16 people, 5,050 pounds of ballast, but it's got just as much comfort and style as you can see here as any other boat in the line. It also has an amazing surf wave and wakeboard wake. But as you can see, this thing is sleek it's got lines all its own, it's got a wide bow, and uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it. So let's check it out. You'll realize that the 2021 FI 25 is different at first sight, especially from the front. The FI series from Centurion has an extremely wide bow, almost a pickle fork style bow, but it's got a lot of purpose to it as well. Not only is it really accommodating on the inside, it gives this boat a distinct look. Um, it's sleek yet aggressive. And you can see that follows from the bow all the way through to the transom of the boat. And it just tells you as soon as you see this boat coming, man, that's an FI from Centurion. The bow is the most distinguishing characteristic on this particular Centurion boat. As you move towards the back of the FI-25 and down the side, you start to realize just how distinct the lines of this boat are. And you also get these other signature elements that are totally Centurion. The ram fill vent here. Not only is it functional, it allows the air that's in the ram fill tanks uh, to escape and allows water in at a really fast rate of about 90 seconds, these tanks that are subfloor fill, but it also looks really cool. It's designed to be a part of the overall design of this boat. It wasn't an afterthought. It's tooled into the side of the hull, so you know it was meant to go there. Uh, you've also got some fresh air vents here under the tower. They follow suit. Everything matches. It looks like it was made to go be together because it was, uh, but those aggressive lines go all the way through to the back of the hull, but the aggressive lines on the side of the boat aren't the only aggressive lines. In fact, the ones that attribute or we attribute to the performance of this boat are really underneath on the running surface of the OptiV hull. So the OptiV is an optimized deep V hull design. What that means is it's got everything, every advantage of a deep V, like a great rough water ride, a great symmetrical um, surf wave where I can displace the hull with less ballast but get a bigger, longer surf wave. But the optimized part of it are these triangular pads on the back underside of the hull. So on either corner towards the back of the boat, I've got flat triangular pads. They optimize the boat is they give it balance. A traditional deep V is a little bit side to side weight sensitive, which can throw off your wakeboard wake. It can throw off your surf wave in some cases. But what these pads do is give lift and they essentially cause balance at the back. So I can have three people on one side of the boat, one person on the other, and not be riding down the lake kind of cattywampus and affect the shape of my um, wakeboard wake or my wake surf wave. Also, it doesn't make the driver feel uncomfortable like you're driving down the lake at an angle. So those particular pads are really, really important to the balance of this hull. But really, to get the true aggressive nature of the running surface of the FI-25, you've got to look at this boat from the back. This is where you get the idea that this is truly a deep V. This is where Centurion is very different from other boat manufacturers in that we have 20 degrees of dead rise at the transom. Under the bow, the, it starts at about 30 degrees, just over 30 degrees of V. It goes all the way back, follows the entire undersurface of the boat and kind of cuts through the water. So that's where we get that great rough water ride. And it travels along the whole wetted surface of the hull. But also when we displace this hull, meaning we fill it up with ballast, it creates a bigger wave or wakeboard wake with less ballast. Yes, I know we have the largest ballast capacities in the industry, but still that deep V design allows us to take that even further, create even more displacement, even more mass of water to create that push of your wake surf wave and those big, well-shaped wakeboard wakes. And still I've got the balance of those optimizing triangles on the rear of the boat. 
So once you've loaded up the Centurion FI-25 with its 5,050 pounds of ballast that's available from the factory, you'll start to notice that displacement. I mean, the sheer displacement of the hull or the part of the hull that's beneath the water that creates the momentum behind your wave. Well, what we do is we create that wave or switch it from side to side with Quick Surf Pro. And these are tabs on either corner of the boat the tab opposite the surf side goes down. It creates lift and essentially digs the surf corner or displaces even more the surf corner to create that wave behind the boat. These particular tabs for Quick Surf Pro will switch or transfer in 1.8 seconds. That is with high speed rams that actuate them. But for this year, for 2021, the whole blade has been redesigned. We've made it longer, slightly wider. We've turned down the trailing edge of the plate so that it creates more lift opposite the surf side, which is sent in one sense creates more displacement on the surf corner and gives you a bigger wave, in some cases a longer wave. Another thing to keep in mind is these plates each have a hundred points of adjustment. So you can take the out of the box setting that comes from the factory, which is at 70 uh, opposite the surf side, or you can dial that thing in so it's the sweetest wave made just for you. Probably the star of the Centurion FI transom is the available silent stinger wake plate. Now, typically you're going to get a wake plate on the back of any Centurion boat. And what the wake plate does is it changes the running attitude of the boat or it changes the wetted surface of the hull. So if I want to come out with my bow high, I'm gonna leave my plate up. If I want to get the nose of the boat down into the water so that I can see the horizon and I don't have to stand up to drive, I'm going to put that plate down. But anywhere in between, there's about 100 points of adjustment and it will change the part, the bottom of the boat that is touching the water and essentially it can change the shape of your wakeboard wake, it can change the shape of your surf wave, it also changes, like I said, the running attitude of the boat. So how the boat moves through the water front to back. But the special thing about the silent stinger wake plate is going to be the fact that it makes the whole boat quieter. It quiets down the engine noise. And how it does that is it takes the exhaust from the engine, funnels it through the plate, which has a series of baffles built into it. Then it takes forced water, forced water induction in the bottom of the plate as you're underway, tumbles that water with the exhaust through those baffles and dampens the noise of the engine. It makes it noticeably quieter. Uh, so much so that at the observer seat, you're looking at about 93 and a half decibels, which is about the same noise level as a kitchen dishwasher. The other thing this does is it will create um, or eliminate, I should say, the line that sometimes your exhaust can put through your surf wave. And if you're really picky about your wave and you need something that's nice and round, especially for that new 360 you're trying, uh, this is gonna take that exhaust line or that exhaust trail out of your wave. The other thing that's really special about the new design of the Silent Stinger, because it has a little bit new design to it this year, it has some more um, forced water induction ports, and it has larger exits for the water. So this is where the water and the exhaust would come out. What these create, these larger ports, is a venturi. And a venturi is like a funnel. And essentially what it does is it sucks the exhaust pressure out of the engine, which is much better uh, for the running of the engine, much more efficient. And over time, it's gonna give longevity to your engine as well. But this is the Silent Stinger wake plate. We have two utility patents on it, one design patent, and uh, it's definitely something you gotta check out. So as we step up on to the FI-25, you start to notice these little touches that it looks like we meant to do that because we did. The, the swim platform is one of those. So the swim platform is not only shaped to go along with the design of the boat, it has a natural fall off the 
trailing edge, so it allows people to get onto the swim step more easily. It also has handles tooled in to either side. It's got matching gator step to whatever gator step you might have chosen, and it's got handles on the back transom so that you could pull yourself up onto the swim step. Because if you don't have the optional ladder that we offer with the boat, sometimes, and I'm not saying this has happened to me, but sometimes you look a little less than graceful trying to get up on the swim step when there's no ballast in the boat and no ladder on the back. So now, on most of the boats that I have any say about ordering, we always have a ladder. But just in case, you've got that nice handle on the back to pull yourself up there. And those of you that are out there that are around my age may understand that. Uh, from there, you can hang out on the back of the FI-25 as well. You've got this nice wide seating area. We've got a couple cup holders. So if you're hanging out swimming or, or just um, taking a break after a big surf set, you've got a lot of room to hang out, lay out on the rear sun pad. Um, it's a very social area when the boat's not underway. But the other thing I like about this area is it's got a ton of storage. So not only do I have a big trunk back here, I've got tons of storage here, which I could choose to put my shoes there. However, I've also got the optional ballast bag in the back back here. So I don't want to put anything on top of it, not because the bag is not sturdy enough to take it, but because when I go out surfing later, I want that bag to be able to expand to its full capacity and give me that big surf wave that I'm used to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, th I'm going to throw my shoes in the gunnel storage, which is unique to the FI series. So we've got specific storage on each of the rear gunnels that shocked storage and you can throw shoes, flip flops, anything a little bit smaller straight from the dock or from the back right in here. And then I've got a specific place for it. I'm not wearing my shoes into the boat and I guarantee that my kids won't either if that storage area is there. But let's check out the rest of the interior. All right, so as we step into the FI-25, you start to realize at just about the first step how big this boat is. It is 25 feet from the tip of the bow to the transom, not including the swim step. It's rated for 16 people, and you can see that in this interior. It looks kind of like a stretch limo. But it's not just about the size of this boat and how accommodating it is that way. It's got a lot of storage. I mean, it's got shocked storage, actually. So I've got these shocks. There's a hinge storage, but there's shocks. So they hold the cushion open while I'm loading or unloading my gear from the boat. There's a lot of storage just because of the sheer size of this boat, but it's comfortable. It's not just big for the sake of being big. We've got spraddling vinyl that has a 17 mil top coat. And what that means to you as far as comfort goes is it's extremely nice to look at, but soft to sit on, but also resilient. So it's going to resist abrasions, staining. This particular uh, texture is called hex and you can get the entire interior in this particular texture. And this hex texture actually dissipates heat better. So what that means to you is if I have a little bit darker color, it has more surface area because of the texture and it allows it to cool down faster than a flatter vinyl that's also that same color. That's really important and really essential for comfort in a boat. We all know this, especially we're in California, it gets really hot here and that vinyl can get two times as hot as the actual air temperature. So that's gonna help in this situation. You've also got stitching made by Gore Tenera. Gore, as you might think, Gore-Tex, that's the same company, they make the thread we use to um, attach our vinyl pieces together. The other interesting part about this is that thread is extremely durable on its own. I mean, it resists things like acid rain and turpentine and harsh bleach chemicals that people could use to clean their interiors. But the other piece of that is how it's put together. So not only is the material strong and resilient, the thread is super strong, but the way we put it together is with a lot of stitching. What I mean by that is you'll be hard pressed to find a single area in this interior that's one single stitch holding two pieces of material together. Most of the time in the high stress areas, you're gonna find a French seam, which is stitched three times. And in other areas that may not be as high stretch, you're gonna find a half stitch, which is stitched twice. You'll be very, very, you'll be looking like where's Waldo in here to find a place in the interior that isn't 
sewn together at least two times. The reason we do that is because then you don't have your vinyl separate and essentially end up seeing the foam uh, between the two pieces because the, the stitch is coming apart. It takes us extra time, the materials cost more, but it's worth it in the end because it's more usable for the customer. The other piece of this interior that I think is really important to note is just how the cushions feel. When you sit in a boat, you notice immediately if the guy that designed these seats has ever sat in them because you have lean backs that might be straight up and down or bolsters that are not padded at all or they kind of give way when you sit on them. In these particular seats, you've got three different densities of foam. You've got a thin piece of foam that's really, really cushy just under the vinyl. Then you've got a little more dense foam right below that but still really soft. Then the base of the cushion itself is an extremely dense foam. What that gives you is comfort as well as durability. I'm not going to end up with footprints or um, butt prints in some cases, uh, indentions in the cushions over time. This isn't going to break down. Uh, because of those different densities of foam, it's comfortable and durable. And I think that's really important to note, especially when you're boat, you're going you know, to boat for 12 hours a day potentially and be sitting on these seats for that long. They're really nice to sit on. So as big and accommodating as the FI-25 is, it also has versatility to it, especially with the seating arrangement when you opt for the slide seat for some from Centurion. The slide seat is this, this rear seat that otherwise sits right in the back of the boat and makes this full lounge. But if I want to move this forward, let's say I wanted to stick my ice chest there over the transmission access, I can do that. I can move the seat forward to its first position. It has four different positions. So, or let's say I want to get my wakeboard wake the shape just so, and I want some more weight right here in the middle towards the back of the boat. I can sit people right here and move the seat to that location. Or let's say it's a cold day on the water and everybody wants to sit up front. I can move the seat all the way forward. I can put my wind block in and be sitting here with the observer and the driver having a nice conversation, being warm, and, uh, and the seat works really well right here. It also has the ability to accept two lean backs and they go in four different positions, either front facing like I am or rear facing. You've also got a table that can insert into any one of those four locations and you could have your your drinks, a little snack, and you can use that wherever you might, what, whatever might be more comfortable. I can move that table so it's long. I can move it so it goes kind of a landscape. Uh, really, it's made to be whatever you need it to be as far as the seating layout goes. Now, this gator step may look familiar to you from years past, but really, it's only one of many scheme and color combination choices you can have for 2021. So this is a two layer gator step option or gator step flooring scheme. And from that, I can choose from 15 different colors for each layer. This one happens to have black on the bottom and what we call shark fin on the top. You could go from here to a three layer, same cutout, same centurion cut, but we could add another layer to the top and choose from another 15 different colors. What that does is that makes you able to make this custom. It could match whatever you want it to. You could also choose a different scheme. So we offer the warrior scheme that has more of the centurion warrior heads in it and a lot of different colors associated with that. Still three different layers and 15 color choices on each layer. You could also choose our salute to service flooring scheme, which has flags and stars as well as the Centurion logos in it. Uh, or you could get a standard gator step scheme that really is just plain non-skid, gray in color, um, easy, simple, clean. But we've left that choice to you because we are a custom boat manufacturer and we want to make the boat exactly how you want it. So when we're talking about a versatile interior, one that's meant to do whatever you need it to, the FI series in general is really good about rear facing seating. So in this particular boat, the FI 25, you've got the option of a rear facing flip up lean back on the passenger side. And then you've got another rear facing lean back on the driver's side. 
So these two lean backs coupled with the slide seat and those uh, lean backs that plug into that center seat, you could have a whole row of people in this stadium seating setup. Like I said, it's really meant to be used the way that you and your family want to use the boat. And the FI-25 doesn't just have big room, it has big accommodation. So we've talked a little bit about the specific storage, the storage centers that are designed into the FI-25. We've got the shocked hinge storage underneath almost every seat. We've got observer storage over here. But another thing we have that's really convenient is this in-floor uh, wet or dry storage right here. I can access it from the driver's seat. Anyone can access it from the uh, observer to any passenger in the boat. The great thing about this is it's set up to be an ice chest. You know, in and of itself, I could dump ice and drinks directly in here, or I could put dry items in here. Or I could put an ice chest that I order along with the boat to match a, a grizzly ice chest, a 15 quart cooler to be exact. I could stick that in here. Um, it's really meant to be what you need it to be and store whatever you need stored. And it's easily accessible. One of the newest, coolest features you'll find on a lot of Centurions for 2021 is what we call ICE, the ICE system, and it stands for infotainment core expansion, which I don't really understand. That's a little bit over my head and I like to say ice a little bit better. <laughs> but what it is, is control of the stereo through the touchscreen. Makes it really easy to um, pair a Bluetooth device or just listen to any kind of a music source. To enable the ICE system, uh, I'm going to go to the little music note that's on the left hand side menu. All I have to do is touch it and then my stereo control screen comes up. So here I've got control over whatever Bluetooth device I want to connect as well as AM, FM, normal stereo controls, but they're all through the screen. And most important, my volume control is right here. So I can easily uh, increase and decrease the volume on the screen. I don't have to be using my phone or trying to figure out where the volume control is on here, reaching around when I'm not looking at the water. It's a lot easier to move that that big dial than it is finding something small that's to my left or to my right to control it. But what I want to do right now is connect my phone. And to do that, I am going to go to this Bluetooth menu. It's just a little gear with the Bluetooth symbol. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair, actually, it remembered my phone. So I'm using Zach's phone and it remembered that we were connected just a few minutes ago. It also remembers everybody else that's been connected to this boat so far. And the cool thing about that is the next time Lost Boys 10 gets into the boat, they'll be able to connect their phone easily and won't have to go through the pairing process at all. So right now I am going to pair Zach's phone, but I want to make sure that my Bluetooth is on, which it wasn't. Okay, it's on now. So what I'm going to do is just tap on Zach's phone. Oh, it's actually, I'm trying to make it connect. It's already connecting. As you can see, it tells me what it's doing. It's connecting. It realizes that Zach's phone was already paired. I just enabled the Bluetooth. So it's connecting again. Oh, and now it's connected. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of my Bluetooth pairing screen. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to find some tunes. Let's see if I Zach has any good music on his phone? Maybe. Let's see, where do we want to go? Oh, smoke on the water. Yes, absolutely. And there, so all I have to do from here, I can control my volume, or maybe not. <laughs> That's it. If I want to change songs, go back to the beginning, I can pause, I can play. It's really easy, super user friendly. Um, also, if I want to get to more of these settings, I can change the zones on this system. So if I want my tower speakers or the ones that are firing back to the rider behind me to be all the way up and maybe the interior speakers to be a little bit lower in volume, I can control all of that here through this. It's a little gear button with a music note next to it. Um, that seems good for me. Actually, I want the interior to be up. 
and I can go back, choose my songs again. Like I said, it's, it's really easy to use, pretty simple. And um, it's if I wanted to change the source, that's the other thing we didn't go over. I'm going to click the little button that right now is reading Bluetooth, uh, but it's got a down arrow next to it. So when I hit that, I can choose um, FM, AM, wideband. Uh, we can add other choices for maybe a Sirius XM uh, or the like. And like I said, you can pair any Bluetooth device to this system. But very easy to use, super intuitive, and, uh, and it plays good tunes. So one of the biggest changes in the 2021 FI25 is at the helm, specifically the dash area. You'll notice this year it is blacked out. So you've got blacked out surrounds for the touchscreen. You've got blacked out switch panels with nice etched labels for each one of the um, actuating buttons that's on the panels. And in this particular case, you've got vinyl accents for any kind of accent color you add to the dash rather than fiberglass accents, which is what we had in years previous. So what that tells you is you can, I can take an accent color from my interior and add it right here to these panels on the dash if I wanted to bring a different color into the dash. But if not, I've got all black standard uh, on this particular vinyl setup for the dash. I can also choose my stitch color. So I've got six different choices of stitch color that I can add to my dash as well. The other piece of this, this whole dash setup, the way that this looks, this design mirrors itself on the passenger side with the glove box. So you can see a lot of similarities here. I'll also have vinyl accent colors over here. And we've got a really cool, nice shock. We've got a large opening here for the glove box, really easy to use. And a slam latch, easy to open and close but it looks exactly like the driver's side, so everything matches, which I really appreciate about this dash. The other thing I like is just where everything is located. So not only do I have my touch screen, which gives me easy access to a ton of functionality for the boat, here I've got my optional clamping wireless cell phone charger, which is amazing. It puts my phone just where I need it to be so I can control things, I can see text, but not have to take my eyes off the water. Um, I've also got a nice steering wheel. It allows me to still see the pieces of the dash I need to through the wheel, which is important. I've got my sport shifters. My sport shifter on the left controls the position of my stinger wake plate which is on the back of the boat. We talked about that earlier. And then my sport shifter on the right controls my set speed for zero off. So I can go faster by taking two fingers and pulling the lever to me, or I can go slower by taking the lever on the bottom portion and pulling that to me. So I can have all this control over my zero off, which is right here front and center. So I can increase my speed, decrease my speed, really easily not have to take my hands off the wheel or my eyes off the water. So with this dash, not only does it look beautiful and has it been completely updated for 2021, but it functions so well. So the HD split screen is a touch screen that's at the center of the dash in the FI series and VI series as well. What it gives me is control over just about every system in the boat and easy control. So I've got a, a little six position menu on my left where I can choose six different areas. But one of these areas has three choices within it. So we've got so many different systems in this boat. We have one menu item that actually has three menu choices within it. And that is this item here. So right now I'm on the surf screen, which you could see when that pops out, I choose surf. And this is where I go to control my quick surf, which we talked about earlier. I can turn it on and off. I can also see my plates adjust. Right now, um, these are factory settings. The red lines you see are where the plates actually are. The yellow line is their set point. So right now, they're set, they're set at 70, and I'm set up to surf right, which means my uh, plate on the left side of where we're facing is down and the plate on the right is up because that's the surf side and you can see that reflected on the screen. Now let's say I'm done surfing, I want my friend to surf, he's regular, all I have to do is hit surf left, the plates adjust and we're surfing. The boat can be weighted evenly to do that. But let's say I am ready to 
be done surfing and I'm going to just head out maybe to the dock, to the houseboat, and I want to get up on plane really fast, I'm going to turn on quick launch. What quick launch will do was put both surf plates down to 100%. And what I can do to help quick launch along is even put my center plate down to 100%, which I'm doing now with my sport shifter. So once that plate goes down, that means all three plates on the back of the boat are all the way down. What does the down position do? It puts the nose of the bow deeper into the water. What it does is it helps me take off flat. I don't have any bow rise. I don't have any trouble seeing over the nose of the boat. And it's honestly the way I like to take off. And that doesn't matter if we're fully ballasted, we have a boat full of people, it's still gonna react that way. I can be on plane in six seconds, even fully loaded with quick launch. But when I'm done, when I get to where I need to go, I don't need quick launch anymore. I can turn that off pretty easily. The other thing I want to look at is my ballast. So when I'm getting ready to ride, I've got visibility over all of my seven different ballast locations in the FI-25. Now this ballast is all available, it doesn't come standard in the boat. Standard in the boat, you've got um, the tanks that are beneath the floor in the lounge and a tank right here in the walkthrough. But beyond that, you can kind of add and pick and choose as you see fit. This particular boat has all of the ballast in it. So what we can do from here is I can fill and drain any of the ballast independent of one another, or I can fill them all at the same time, actuate them all together. It's really up to me. Or I can go here to the little person that's up in the top right hand corner, and I can choose a rider profile, of which I have 16 different possibilities. I can add my own, I can use the ones from the factory, but I've got that ability. So I can either fill and drain ballast on my own, and this boat has 5,050 pounds of ballast available from the factory, or I can choose a rider profile. The great thing about the locations of the ballast in an FI-25 is they're very evenly distributed. You can see, based on this image, the ballast is really spread out throughout the entire boat. And that's pretty unique in our industry. A lot of other manufacturers tend to have most of their weight behind the back seat, which makes the boat ride bow high. In this particular case, our boats ride very level because the ballast is distributed throughout the boat. What that also does is it displaces the entire running surface. What I mean is when we fill all the ballast up and it's so even from front to back, it makes the whole boat displace water. That's why we get such a long wave. It's the entire length of the running surface. That's the wave you'll see behind the boat when all that ballast is full. But if we move on from ballast, I mean, we've already looked at surfing. So if we've got our ballast full, all I need to do is turn my quick surf on. And then at this point, really all I have to worry about is my speed, which is here. So my zero off, I just hit the off, turn it to on. It's highlighted, it's ready to go. I like to surf at 11.2. So at this point, all I have to do is throttle up and I'm ready to surf. But when we're done surfing, I can turn this stuff off. I can go somewhere else on the lake with my GPS mapping and understand uh, where I am and what the depth is, where I'm at. I can listen to some tunes. Oh, look at that. But the great part about stereo control through the HD split screen is I can control that volume really easily. I can also pause my songs. I can hook up another Bluetooth device, anything and everything, go to the next song and we're golden. And that's just by clicking the music note or tapping the music note on the left hand side. I can also control my volume with the little speaker that's here just easily. So if I was listening to tunes and I didn't really want to change my song, but I did want to turn it down, I can hit here and use this to control my volume louder or softer. I also have access to all of the different settings for this screen, whether it be user settings, brightness on the screen, it's all very easy to access. The other thing is the lighting in the boat. So I can control all the lights. So I can turn my docking lights on, my courtesy lights. I can turn my tower on, um, my cockpit lights, underwater lights are fun if you're swimming at night. Um, it's all controllable through the screen as well. So the split HD touchscreen is easy to use. And like I said, it controls just about every system of this boat. 
So one of our really popular options on the FI-25 is the drop zone auto tower. And that's what I'm standing underneath here. This is by Roswell. That's who creates this tower for us. This tower was designed and is made to go with Centurion boats and it looks like it on the FI-25. I mean, the lines of this tower complement this boat so well. But there's some distinct advantages to this tower beyond the look of it. I mean, I can custom match the tower shields. It's gonna match the exterior gel coat of the boat. I can color the tube of the tower black or white. But really what sets this tower apart or above the rest is the structure and the strength of the tower. It's made with a special water drop extrusion. So this isn't just plain round tube. It's got this spine to it, which adds another layer of strength. It's also fit and finish on this tower is amazing. It's put together well, and you can hear that. What I mean is you can hear it in the silence of the tower because whether I'm going down the street on a trailer or I'm going down the lake on a rough day, I don't hear a rattle, I don't hear a peep out of this tower. Part of that is because the patented cam latch design that Roswell uses to essentially lock the tower down on its base. And that's what allows the tower to really become one piece and not rattle or sway or um, feel like it's gonna come apart like you've seen on towers in the past. So this thing is stout. And it also has some really cool options that you can get with it. So not only the color match panels, but we can get the bombshell board racks. These board racks are also made by Roswell and they are an extremely high take option for any Centurion boat. Why? Because we spend so much on our surfboards and wakeboards anymore. We wanna be able to caress them in comfort and safety and the bombshell does that. The bombshell will accommodate as large or as wide as a 26 inch surfboard and it does that with really cushy gator step as well as these great hooks that hold everything in place. Uh, this keeps your boards safe. It has them up out of the way and the rack itself is really easy to use. Plus it looks pretty cool. Uh, other options you'll find on this tower is the sound system, the Coverfire 2.0 sound system. So we've offered Coverfire from Roswell in the past, but this year for 2021, the entire system has been upgraded to the max. So you've got four eight inch horns on the back. We've got the addition of two high tweeters. Um, and then we've got still our six and a half inch mids that spill sound into the bow. Now you'll notice that the Coverfire 2.0 enclosure looks a little different. The speakers are angled a little bit differently. That's because it's built to be a surround sound system. What I mean by that is it's built to spill sound into specific areas of the boat. So you've got two speakers, two eight inch horns that are spilling sound into the interior. You've got two eight inch horns that are pushing sound back to your rider in tow. And then you've got two front six and a half inch mids that are catering to the bow and anybody sitting up there. And then the highs are coming from those, the addition of those tweeters, which makes everything sound crisp and clear. And these join the six interior speakers that you'll find in the side panels of this boat. You'll have um, four in the lounge, one at the driver, one at the passenger, two on either side of the lounge, and then two more in the bow. The cool thing about the side panels of this boat is as you will notice, they are princess pink. They are color matched for the exterior gel coat. They also house a, a lot of cup holders. So there's always a place to put your drink. But that pink, that's not something we see every day. And uh, you gotta know that the FI-25 that we're walking you through today is going to Ashley Kidd, our pro rider, our world champion surfer, and she's gonna love this boat. She hasn't seen this boat yet. She's gonna be so excited when she gets it because uh, I don't know if you know, but pink is her signature color. So the drop zone auto tower, the name says it all. This is an auto tower, meaning I can fold it with a button press. And I'm gonna show you how we do that now. 
There are two locks, one on either side of the tower base, and they hold it into position. It's using a cam latch technology that's patented by Roswell. That's why the tower is so quiet. But what we want to do is unlock it on both sides before we fold the tower down. So I've already unlocked the driver's side. Now I'm going to unlock the passenger side. And the way I know it's unlocked is it goes to this warning um, sign in the viewfinding window. And that means, hey, beware, the tower is not locked. Now you'll notice the tower is not falling. It's not going anywhere. But now it's ready for me to push a button and fold it down. And the button I push is right up here. And the front arrow, the arrow pointing towards the bow, will make the tower go down. But if I take my finger off of it, it stops. It wants me to continue to press to get the tower all the way down. And that's a safety mechanism. But you'll notice the tower folding down doesn't shake the entire boat. It's not super loud. It's really easy to do. It's not, doesn't take anybody strong to do it. All right, so now that I got my tower down, I can do what I need to do. I can cover the boat. I can maybe go under a low bridge and, uh, and I'm set to go. But now I want to put the tower back up. So I hit the up arrow. Right now it's pointing up, but it's normally pointing towards the back. So again, it goes up a little bit slower than it goes down. It takes it about 10 seconds, 10 to 14 seconds to go down and about 17 to 19 to go up. But all I do is keep my finger on the button and it takes it all the way back up. And then once it's all the way up, all I have to do is lock both sides and I'm ready to go. All right, it's back in place. I can go ahead and lock both sides and we're ready. So even though this wide bow is a distinguishing characteristic on the FIs, um, specifically the FI-25, once you get into the bow, you start to realize how special this boat is. Not only do I have a walkthrough bow, but this bow is wide, super accommodating. I've got cup holders on either side. I've got USB and 12 volt power points for charging. I've got a couple of my Roswell interior speakers and uh, grab handles in case I need to support myself in case we're doing bat turns out there on the lake. But this bow is very, very accommodating. It also has access to your observer storage from the front and to the back of your dash. So you've still got some storage up front here. You've also got an optional filler cushion so I can make this a playpen style bow or I can make it into its own little lounge. Either way, it's got the versatility of the main lounge, but the quaintness of a bow that is really, really comfortable. And it's still deep enough to be great for the kids. When they're sitting on their bottoms up front, you're going to have no worries. This FI-25 for 2021 is a big boat but it does so many things for your family. It allows you to boat the way that you want to with the performance that Centurion is known for, for the wake surf wave, for the wakeboard wakes, and the rough water ride. Check out the FI-25 for 2021 at your local Centurion dealer today and let us prove it to you.